Good day guys, this is Trader Sets Guild. The Satoshi is the small unit of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, connecting to crypto space. For today's video guys, we will talk about Girly Testnet. But before that guys, we need to talk about what's the description of this Girly Testnet token. First, what is the Girly Testnet? Gurley is the is a testnet, a decentralized computing network whose ledger is separate from the main Ethereum ledger. So transactions do not cross over between the two. It runs on a different consensus system, proof of authority, rather than the Ethereum mainnet proof of stake. Since this is Gurley testnet, this is not a real money guys. So it is tradable only in testnet network so once you launch in mainnet so you need capital to transfer or to transact in ethereum network so this really testnet is ethereum asset really in a testnet network so what is the difference between proof of stake and proof of authority so in the proof of stake model the longest chain is the chain that all participants in the network agree to be true. Validators are the participants that add new blocks of transactions to this chain. Under the proof of stake model, validators are randomly chosen from a pool of actors willing to offer 32 ETH as collateral to be taken away in cases of malicious behavior. The logic behind this consensus model is that the whole Collateral discourages validators from acting maliciously between they would lose a non-trivial amount of Ethereum and or lower the price of Ethereum in their own network. The proof of authority model differs from the proof of stake model enforcing its validators to rebuild their real world identities. Once a majority of the validators agree that a new block of transaction is legitimate, it is signed off and added to the long chain because it will be expensive to verify the identities of a large number of players. Only small private chains such as the real testnet have adopted proof of authority. So guys, this is the difference between the proof of stake and proof of authority. I will connect the link here in our description so you must read it guys. So. Why do the developers build on the Gurley testnet? Developers build their dApps or decentralized apps on the Gurley testnet over other testnets because Gurley supports a wider variety of node software. Example, Gcatch or Gurley ETH Parity, Nethermind Hyperledger, then alternatives like Rinkibai and Coban, which only support Gurley ETH and Parity respectively. As a separate ledger from the main Ethereum network, whatever happens on the Gurley test stays on Gurley. Central's application developers choose to use the Gurley testnet because it is safe space to test their decentralized application for security risk and bugs before releasing them on the Ethereum network. So, uh, the developers build on the Gurley, te Gurley testnet because they want to risk free. They, if you use this testnet, uh, it is fake money, so it is fake testnet ETH, so you will risk free, you, your money doesn't involve, your money doesn't involve in, in this kind of te test, testing or your money will make safe, will save. will be saved in your wallet. So what is Girly ETH? So Girly ETH is a paid testnet ETH exclusive to the Girly testnet that you use exclusively to pay your for computation. Developers can get Girly ETH to begin running dApps at this Girly faucet page on all community sites. So here guys, to get this Girly ETH you can use this allcommy.com so you will connect your Gmail here and I think 12 hours or 24 hours the time once you request girly ETH and the ETH here so your next claiming will be after 12 hours or 24 hours so all of this 
you can read it or you can find here in alchemy.com overviews girly faucet so what are the girly faucets the girly ethereum faucet is where developers can acquire girly testnet eth for free most girly faucets will require you to authenticate yourself on twitter or confirm you are a real human for facing you in a queue to get for a girly testnet tokens alchemy girly test network faucet is free fast and does not require authentication However, you must sign up for a free Alchemy account where you can build and test applications on a girl test and you can get 0.05 ETH per day. How to get tested from ETH from a girl so you can check the steps here to get some girl ETH. So first to getting some girl faucets here, you must connect or sign up here in alchemy.com or next um, I'm using this one securely faucets.pk910.de so you must enter your eth address or ens name here so i am human start mining so once you start mining so let's connect our metamask wallet so i will put my password here so, since i'm in sequoia i will change it to girly so once you interface your address here, I am human, start mining. So please click each image containing a flashlight. Flashlight. Next flashlight. I think it's not. Start mining. So here you must max the number of workers to 32 to boost your mine speed. Minimum claim rewards is 0.01. Maximum claim reward is 0.75. Remaining session time 11 hours. So it is 12 hours. Total share is 3. So average rewards per hour is 0 0.067. Per hour reward was. Um, I think this is an, an, an NFT. So let's wait and mine. So, guys, I hope I help you how to mine Gilly Faucet. And Please follow our page on Twitter at TraderSatSkill and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to share more about knowledge and upcoming airdrop reviews and other crypto space topics. Thank you.